All right, everybody. Today, our element of the day is beryllium. Now, I got to hold my camera a little bit close today. I don't have my daughter helpers to help me hold it. Beryllium has an atomic number of four. That means it has four protons in its nucleus, but it's actually very rare on Earth and in the universe. Remember, hydrogen, helium, and lithium are all very, very common in the universe, but beryllium isn't, even though it's only four protons. It's called an alkaline earth metal. What that means is it's in group two of the periodic table when you go up and down, and it has two outside electrons in its outer shells. Now, it's a hard metal, just like a little bit like lithium, but it's actually brittle and it breaks at room temperature. Beryllium salts have a very sweet taste, and the element was once called glucine with a symbol of GI due to its flavor, but then they changed it later. Um, the ancient Egyptians have noticed beryllium, and then they were using it in a lot of their um, experiments, I guess? I don't know. The name beryllium can be traced to several different languages. Most likely it might have been from Sanskrit. It's really, really old. Now, emeralds, different um, Louis Valkin in 1977 actually discovered those as well. Beryllium is actually present in over a hundred different minerals, but it's also very hard to extract it. Now, what's weird about beryllium is the United States, China, and Kazakhstan, out of all countries, are the only three countries in the world that actually produce it in industries and manufacturing. Now, the major industry is the military, but not much is known about it, and they kind of keep it locked under wraps there. So that is beryllium, and tomorrow we'll finish out the week with boron.